All right, the first of what we're hoping to be many, many appearances from our guy, Scott Mitchell, our Blue Jays reporter. You can hear the leaf blowers in the background at Sky Dome. He's back in a big way, and so is Jose Brio. Scott, just did you see this coming? This guy has just been on fire to start the season. Three of Toronto's five wins he has started, and he looked great on Monday, too. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, consistency, uh, dependability. This guy has just been unbelievable. And that's not how his career in Toronto started. It's really interesting. It's kind of been two different Jose Barrioses when you kind of look at the stats. His first 46 starts in a Blue Jays uniform, he failed to complete five innings 11 different times. So didn't even make it through the fourth inning uh, on 11 different occasions. And when you look at um, you know what he's done over his past 33 starts, just two times he's failed to complete uh, five innings. So over the past about calendar year, this guy's been a completely different pitcher. And you talk to the coaching staff about him. He's been tinkering with just about everything from mechanics to where he stands on the rubber to, you know, his mental processes. The one big thing is kind of his pitch mix, pitch selection, though. Um, he's kind of gone away from the four seam fastball much more uh, of a sinker ball pitcher these days high sinkers and his curveball uh, his curveball was really really good in minnesota it was absolutely elite tonight nine swings and misses he threw 39 of them leaned on that pitch heavily and when you look at jose barrios right now he is so so important to this team just because of kevin gosman's struggles early in the season they don't really have a fifth starter right now and every five days this guy's been mr dependability and and also important because this offense has been inconsistent as you know I mean they were no hit they were one hit and yet on Monday they kind of spread it around didn't they and it really worked. Yeah uh, at least one hit from everybody but George Springer uh, you know throughout this lineup and that's kind of the balanced attack that they're going to need to have when you look at kind of what they needed to do this winter you talked about the power they didn't add too too much obviously internal improvement was where they felt they were going to make uh, strides in 2024. But really, when you look at kind of throughout the lineup, they just need to have a more balanced approach. You can't rely on one guy every single night. And Schneider's a real interesting case. He's been such a spark plug since he got recalled last August. And he hasn't been able to find a regular role in this lineup this season. But it's very clear he's one of their more productive hitters when he's in there. And he can make things happen. And you look at that at bat in the third inning tonight, so, so key. They're only up one nothing. He goes down and digs a, a low slot slider out of the dirt essentially and flares it over second base two more runs without those runs you don't know how this game's going to go and really that's what the Blue Jays need to do runners in scoring position three two out hits tonight and that's the difference uh, Chris Bassett will get the start on Tuesday he is back in a big way Scott Mitchell and those leaf blowers thanks buddy